Good morning, everyone. We are packing up to go. Yeah, just about, about everything I have to do. Everybody's final checks. Now, I believe we are going to breakfast. And then we're hitting the road. Six hours home. We'll see ya. Plants weren't watered for a week. These are already the stragglers from all the cold, dark weather we've had. It's like one pea plant. The one remaining sunflower died. And a marigold died. Some of them are sad, but some are thriving. You need to stay away. He's gonna destroy them over there, but I moved them there because that's the best spot for plants to get light. That side of the house, it's also why I have plants in here. These guys are thriving. Like this guy would be dead if, if this hadn't worked. It's empty now, but it must have given him enough water. It's just a tiny bit droopy today, but I have a lot of new blossoms, so it's doing well. These guys are okay. Leave it. That plant's not for you. But yeah, we're home. Danny is over at Costco. He ordered glasses right before we left and they came in during the trip. I wish I could go to the library and pick up a book right now, but I'm not going to do. <sighs> so yeah, he's picking that up. I've just been unpacking food. A lot of the stuff in here is going to be left in here for a couple weeks, like soaps and sunscreen spices that I pack up and then as we get closer to the trip I'm going to just top them all off and organize it. Some of these perishable foods though we will be eating. Just all the staples like when we go to the Outer Banks we don't stay in an Airbnb we stay in a rental company house. We do prefer the nicer company that gives you dish soap and towels and stuff. We we're in an Airbnb this time, so we didn't end up needing that, but he was all like, I wanna watch Pokemon, and turns on the TV and it's 
<laughs> not plugged in. <laughs> so he is over here. Jax wants to go on his Xbox account and get some sort of a Halo armor. I don't even know, but <laughs> yeah, we're here. Sebastian is in the bath and I just took one. I took a super hot, super sweaty bath and it was amazing because I was cold all week. <laughs> I just, I sleep with so many blankets, including a 12 pound weighted blanket. Like, it's ridiculous how many blankets I sleep with. And there they had a very thin quilt, the sheet. I found another thin quilt that was extra and I had that folded in half on top of me and then I brought one of these that I only had enough for like one layer. And it was just, I felt like I was gonna float off the bed because there was so little weight on me and it was so cold. It felt like nothing was on me. But we have a sheet, a thick comforter, my weighted blanket. This is one of these thick furry blankets folded in half. It also is folded four times over my feet. So there's four layers. And then same with this, this is folded in half and four layers over my feet. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to that, even though I didn't clean our sheets yet, I need to do that. It's still gonna feel amazing. And the bed was a little hard for me because I am a delicate flower. But also we had to run the heat and it was set to like 70 which is fine, <laughs> it's just cold. It's hard for me to warm up, but I've been out in the wind. So that felt amazing, that was so nice. I have color in my skin. Feels good to sweat, I'm not, I don't sweat very easily. I have to be in like 110 degree bath <laughs> to really sweat a lot. Instead I usually just overheat, which is not good. I've got to drink a lot of fluids and try to Take my body into sweating mud when it's hot summer. But anyway, we're home as you saw. After I did unpacking like the food stuff, I did three quick label updates, just changing like numbers on them. Sent those off while backing up a lot of the vlogs from the beach. And then I scheduled out the next two weeks for Jax's school. Then after that, we have a week of testing. This month, I should hear from the middle school so we can start his registration progr progress process. They said that's in April. Elementary school is all done. They did that in March and a few days after we went in person to give them copies of everything. And I don't even know what all they, they did. They got our IDs, I guess. Yeah, after that, I got an email saying he was official. And now the little school portal shows him as registered for the upcoming year. And Jack still says waiting. So, yeah. Then, while I was doing that, we ordered Chinese food because we don't have four sheets yet. I should probably put them in. But we're not going to be here in the morning. We have to go out, so... It might be one more day or I have to do them for an afternoon pickup. But I'm real tired. I just want to get him to sleep and edit my video. Quickly say goodnight to Jax. Go down and get some ice water. Chug a bunch of it because I'm so thirsty. And get back into bed. <laughs> get ready for bed. Get into bed and watch some videos because I'm really, really behind on this. But 
we ordered Chinese and I thought I would have some time, it's usually the weekend I guess when we order Chinese. And right when I went to start cooking for Jax, because he wants Japanese, he wants chicken teriyaki when we get Chinese, so we get frozen from Trader Joe's. The second I start to cook, the food comes, but Danny just like waited to unpack everything while I got his food cooked so we could all eat together. The neighbor brought our mail, she's so sweet, especially when I told her that in a few weeks we'd be going away for a week again. Sebastian gave her one of those little pots of fabric flowers that he arranged and they stuck into Play-Doh. We were doing color mixing and he mixed around Play-Doh. So she got one of those. I think he made four all together. He gave one to Jax, one to Danny, and then we just had one on the foyer table. It doesn't really go in there. So I was like, you could give her this. And he thought that was a great idea because he loves giving his crafts out. She brought that over, we ate our food. I ordered some tofu because I did have protein with breakfast. I guess I didn't say what we ate. But yeah, I got Kung Pao tofu and then Danny shared it a little bit. He had pork fried rice. He gets allergic to peanuts, but he just ate around them. So, food for the day. I don't know if this is interesting, but on the way out of town, we did great on time. We had to be out of there at 10. And we were in the car at 8.30, like, go us. I was going to wake up at 7.30 and shower, so I would have probably been in the car by 9 at that point. But Danny's alarm went off at, I don't know, 6.40 or something. And I don't know if he's having trouble turning it off because it just it kept going. We all woke up in that room. <laughs> so he quickly got dressed and I enjoyed my last shower. My hair's probably still damp, actually, because... On a road trip, when the car's like really staticky, I like to just put it up in a bun wet and just enjoy it being kind of damp. So I need to air it out so it doesn't get mildewy, I guess. And that's never happened. It dries so fast once it's loose. But yeah, we got out the door at 8.30. I'm just a mess. I'm sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> and we drove across the bridge, which is still Surf City and stepped into a coffee shop. Danny stayed outside with the dog and I went in and I ordered Sebastian chose a muffin and they really have almost nothing on the, the menu. I think there's a burrito usually, a breakfast burrito, but that was out of stock. And they have an egg sandwich, I think smoothies and smoothie bowls. We didn't have time for that kind of thing. Just avocado toast, stuff like that. It was really, it was really limited, but I, we ended up getting the muffin and three sandwiches that we had to do. One sandwich that was normal, one sandwich without cheese for Jax, but he likes the egg and bacon, and we had to make his eggs scrambled. And then I also wanted scrambled, I don't like runny eggs, but no meat or cheese. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, we're so complicated. We didn't need any drinks because we had our waters and coffee from home still, but we put that order in, and the, the cook brought them outside to our picnic table. He's like, I think I got it all right, and I wrote what it is in the boxes. I'm like, I'm so sorry, we're so complicated. He's like, no, that was great. I loved the challenge, it was fun. <laughs> he sounded genuine about it. And they were delicious, they were like croissants. So that was our breakfast. I ended up finishing all the coffee I brought because I didn't give myself a lot of the caffeine coffee that Danny made. I keep saying daddy because I'm used to calling him daddy for the boys. I didn't want to take too much of that because then I'd feel, I would feel my anxiety. So he got a lot more <laughs> and I chugged it with that sandwich because it just made me really thirsty. So I ended up going back in and getting a decaf Americano because I like to drink coffee for most of the drive. Just sip it because I can't drink much I just have to pee so much but we kind of did things in reverse but we switched up where we ate and so the first stop was two hours in at that big gas station don't think I found it you didn't need to see it again I literally just went in and peed came back out and held the dog and gave him a cookie and some water Danny peed, everyone had a pee break, we got gas in the car, but my car is stupid and sometimes it won't take the gas. Oh, I just got, my comment got a heart from Tokyo Lens. Tokyo Lens is amazing. If you ever want to see some videos about Japan, I recommend you 
watch his videos and his second channel, Tokyo Lens Explores, where he does like live streaming of these beautiful Japanese places, sometimes in the middle of the night, and it's just amazing. Anyway, yeah, I didn't buy anything. I would have gotten a payday bar, the peanut caramel bar, but they were out of stock. I guess I got one of the last ones last week. But yeah, we just hit the road. We had plenty of snacks. I packed up all the snacky things, plus our leftover like fruits and veggies, and those were in the car where we could get to them. So the kids ate some snacks. I had a little popcorn bag, and it was from that snack bowl they left us. Uh, our second stop was a little longer than two hours, probably two and a half, but we went to a brewery we often stop at went on our way to the Outer Banks. They sell pizza and salads. I didn't really want a salad, they're big and expensive and I just didn't think I needed that. I got just breadsticks which was like pizza bread because I didn't get the parmesan cheese on it and then I was dipping it in the marinara sauce. I was gonna eat like peanut butter and apples in the car as my protein, but the apple is so big. I ate half of the apple and then passed it on to Jackson. I just didn't want to deal with the peanut butter. So yeah, that's why I got tofu with peanuts as my dinner. It was delicious, but oh, 10 minutes. I just hit 10 minutes on this clip and I told him he had 10 minutes left till 9.30. I do not have my watch. It's a hair past a freckle. But yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this up. It's not a very exciting video. I did not take very much video. It's just, I was mostly in the car. I knitted for a while, but mostly I was just closing my eyes. They were so dry, my eyes were so dry, and I was so dehydrated, and I still am, but I just didn't wanna have to pee every two seconds. So I've done my body dirty this week. I was really doing great with lots and lots of water and eating gently, and I was starting to feel really good. But then I just, enjoy vacation and I didn't want to have to pee all the time <laughs> so I wasn't drinking water constantly so I need to pick back up on that I do have to leave the house in the morning and hopefully had not run out of gas because Danny didn't feel like any gas as I said my car doesn't always accept gas and I think he only got 13 gallons in for a lot of driving and he says my car is saying it has 60 miles to go which it tends to drop very very quickly when I'm driving around town so Wish me luck that I can get to Panera and the library and back. And then he doesn't want to get gas in my car for several days, so I might be stranded here. He's like, you don't go anywhere. I'm like, sometimes. <laughs> we like to drive to another shopping center and park the car and get on the trail, so. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Goodbye, goodbye, good night. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.